Hello, everyone. Let's sit back further from my camera. Uh, hello. Um, we are working on some Vision OS stuff. In theory. Everything seems to have broken over the week. I don't know what I did. Let's take a look at this. Oh, I'm on the wrong branch. That's why. It's like... Wait a minute, something's gone horribly wrong. Let's try this again. Is it happier now? No, it's not happier now. Uh, we're gonna go to Toast. Let's see if we can make things a little bit happier. Hey, look at that. I actually knows where stuff was. Uh, I could have sworn we had a Kineo for Vision OS project, though. Did we not? I mean, it definitely seems like we got at least some of this stuff working. Maybe it was just a scheme that we didn't get built? I definitely feel like we had a separate target for it, though. Where are we at? Look, new file, Kineo Vision app. Kineo Vision, a lot of stuff. Where's our, t oh, you know what we did? Because I regenerated from Toist. It means we don't have that. Uh, Mono found on uh, GitHub, they had support for it recently. So let's go see what they have. Did they ever release that? Two days ago, 321.1. Well, this doesn't include it, but maybe there was something. Yeah, added support for Vision OS. Here we go, let's try that. Let's go pull out a new version of Toist. Toist help. Need to figure out how to update versions. Toist version. I know that there is a way. Oh man, I'm a couple versions behind. Look at this. We've uh, lost support for disabling Mac for iOS destinations. Watch OS extensions. I don't know what that even means. Uh, cloud clean commands. Yeah, let's let's get all uh let's get all this. Um, was it to brew that I installed this through? Brew upgrade toast. Toast is not installed. That's not how I installed toast. How did I install toast? No, oh, apparently just like that. Do they not have a uh How do I update it? Managing Toist versions, look at that. Uh, Toist local. Toist install. Toist update. Now, why is that not in the commands over here. That's what I want to know. Okay, now we have Toast version 3.2.2.1. Let's uh, edit our project and see if we can't get some Toast Vision OS stuff in here. What do we got? Um, project targets. I think we can go with a different bundle identifier. Maybe, who knows? We'll figure that out. Uh, we definitely don't need the app clip. We don't need core. We do need data. We don't need stickers. Uh, I'm not gonna worry too much about our revisioning profile settings yet. I don't know that I care about entitlements yet. And then everything else I think we're good with. So let's go find our project. That folder there was, uh, I uh, went and found some 
feedback about the fact that I can't get microphone access on Vision OS, even though WWDC videos seem to say that you should be able to. Okay, so got a problem here, which is that we have this app, but we don't really have any, uh, we don't have this in the regular Toist structure. So we need to create a sources folder and a resources folder which should not be in the sources folder, but should be in here. Uh, let's move our preview content, our assets into resources. And we're going to move these two things into sources. That should be enough to get us started. It seems like we don't have an info plist file at all, so let's get rid of that. I kind of want to keep the bundle ID. Let's keep the bundle ID. And then our sources, this is just in Kineo Vision. Okay. Um, yeah, let's see that where that gets us. Close this project. Twist generate. Didn't like that. Uh, twist fetch. User local lot look you yeah user local lib not found but it seems to have been okay with that regardless that's a little weird we're just gonna keep chucking Kineo Vision has platform Vision OS and product application and depends on target data of type framework and platform iOS which is not valid or not supported yet combination okay so <clears throat> I've run into this in the past with Twist and I don't know if they ever fixed it which is that we need our framework to have the same platform. So, uh, Twist multi-platform target. I don't know that they have that yet. Yeah, this is still open. Gross, I don't like it. So they got two draft targets for this, but, uh, or two draft PRs for this, but no, no nothing. I mean, it still seems to be actively worked on, but it looks like we're going to have to add target. This See, this is what's kind of sucks, is that we're going to have to now add duplicate targets for all of our things that... Oh, whoops, we already had two as editing. We're going to have to add duplicate targets for all of our frag or all of our uh, modules, frameworks, that's what I was looking for, to say that we need a framework that supports Vision OS. And I think we need them all to have like unique names too, which really sucks. So we're gonna We're gonna see how far we can get with that. Okay, here's the thing though. Do we actually need to depend on core yet? We might not need to depend on core yet. Let's, let's actually do this. We're gonna get rid of our dependencies. I might be moving ahead too fast. Hey, thanks for the follow, full, full Q developer. How are you doing? I've seen you around in the Discord. I haven't had a chance to check out your uh, stream yet. 
But how, how's it going? Uh, are we done with this? Okay, can we build our vision app? Hey, there we go. Okay, cool. So we actually don't need core. Oh god, it's very purple. Okay, let's try that again. So now that we've got this, uh, where's our GeoVision source? So this is where we got last time, which was we had a very simple preview page. And we had, oh, I don't have my sound on correctly. Yep, we got here. And then uh, I thought we had, oh, I guess maybe this is only in the actual simulator and not in the preview. We had the ability to hide and show our tool picker. That was as far as we got. Which, you know, I would have liked to have gotten a lot farther than that, but sometimes uh plan doesn't survive first contact with Xcode. Here we go. So we have the little button here we click that it gives us that that's all we got and then we're able to select things we're able to draw not well but uh, we are able to draw so that's what we got um I think what I want to do today is I want to try to build out the rest of the like what is this going to look like? And I don't think I'm going to do any like actual behavior quite yet, but I just, I just want to like, what does our, what is our UI even going to look like? I think is where I, I want to go with this. I still really want to fix this. That we've got like this, the, the resize thing is way off base. Hey, compile switch, how are you doing? Happy Friday. But yeah, so I, th I think that's where I want to go with this, but I don't know. I feel like I'm... I don't know what I feel like I'm... <laughs> I, I, I feel almost like I need to figure out this window thing first before I figure out anything else. And if I can't figure out that window thing, then that's kind of going to change how everything else works how it, all the rest of the UI looks. So I think I want to kind of play with this a little bit first. Wow, Swift has a terrible headache. I'm sorry, man. That sucks. But you don't care because the weekend's here. No, that's the worst time to have a headache. Be sick on the company dime. So yeah, let's look into what we can do with these windows. And one idea that I had was, can we actually make fake windows, basically? Because what, what I'm kind of considering is we have the like Vision OS uh, rescheduling of the headache for Monday. There you go. Good on ya. What I want to do is I want to say I want, uh, I'm trying to figure out how to describe this. What I really want is not a window size so much as I want like an aspect ratio, meh. Um, but also what I want to do is, oh, sorry, yeah, and I, I remember where I went. Sorry, I've completely lost my mind. Um, I want to be able to 
I, I want to try creating the volumetric window and then like creating fake windows inside of that. So basically having a 3D space that I'm interacting with. And can I put flat windows, especially can I put like the regular like ornaments and stuff into this volumetric window rather than using the flat windows, which seem to give me a little bit less flexibility. Nice answer for what would you choose for your superpower? Uh, I don't know if anybody else here, I, this, this person I know causes a lot of uh, 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 opinions vary both ways, but uh, some of the Brandon Sanderson books have exactly that superpower in them where you're able to uh, determine when you're able to be healthy or not. And so what you do is you like store up your health and you know, like, oh, I'm choosing to be sick at this point in time and I'm storing my health for later. And then later when you are actually sick, you can like tap into that stored health and be like, oh, I'm better again now. want to be able to gift unhealthy to other people. I'm very interested in the answer to this question, but uh, I really want to look at, like, can I just do a search by, like, window? Cool. That doesn't let me <laughs> rescheduling headache for last Monday. There you go. How are you doing, KNH? Ornament and resize window. Set default window size. Vision OS window size. Hand tracking isn't supported in the simulator. It's supporting on devices using hand tracking provider. Happy Friday. No headache. Just sneezing. I'll live. Okay. Sneezing. Sneezing's more okay for the weekend. Definitely, definitely better than headaches. Created a window with the following code. Blah, 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 blah. It shows me this. When I resize my ornaments, when I resize my window, the ornaments do not follow the window. Wrap the main view in a geometry reader and set each ornament's frame proportionally to the proxy's width and height. No effect on the plane window. Yeah. I mean, that one makes sense. Somebody reported it as feedback. And uh, this person, this is the one I originally found. Boo. I don't like it. Okay, so if we can't resize those windows. Can we make the fake windows like I described? Let's let's try that out. So instead of having a window group with a window style plane, let's do window style volumetric. And let's just see what that gives us. Didn't like that. Uh, Swift UI scene with volumetric window style requires a UI scene session role of this one. We can work. Uh, can we work with that? Uh, I think we need to get into the project here. Kineo Vision. There we go. Build settings. We need C. Uh, what was that actual error? In, uh, for key UI application, preferred default scene session role. 
Can we edit the scene manifest? Yeah, I guess we can here. But what do we put in here? Info plist file sets the value of the UI application scene manifest key to an entry suitable. I think we just need to give ourselves an info plist. This is what I'm thinking here. Let's just get an info plist. Uh, that is not what uh, Compile Swift was re recommending. Compile Swift wanted the evil version of what you're saying. He wanted to give unhealthiness to people that deserve it. UI application scene manifest. Come on, now is that really... Uh, is that really the behavior that we expect of Pipert Pinter? UI application scene manifest key to your app's info playlist. I don't understand why this isn't auto-completing. It totally is. Uh, enable multiple windows. Yeah, we probably want that. And then we want scene configuration, application session role. We want this one. I don't know what we put for any of this information, but... Uh, requires a UI scene session role. Volumetric application. Okay, so maybe actually I need this. No, that's not right. Swift UI scene with volumetric window style requires a UI scene session role. Of UI window scene session role volumetric application. UI scene configurations supports the following keys. Is that what this is? UI scene configurations. UI scene session role immersive space application. So yeah, that is a key in here. And then what? UI scene configuration name is apparently the only thing. All right, that's fine. Uh, UI scene configuration name. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, let's just call it main for now. And then we have an initial immersion style that we can provide. Let's give it a pass through. I don't really want anything, but we'll, we'll try it. Okay, so we've built this now. Let's try running that and seeing if it actually builds. Okay, so it doesn't even build. Uh, multiple commands produce blah, blah, blah. Well, it shouldn't. Multiple commands produce info plist. Why? Target Kineo Vision has a copy command from resources info plist. Yeah, that's what we expect. Has a process command with output. Okay, so did we get that? 
somewhere else. Where's um build phases? I mean, this is basically saying, hey, our auto-generated playlist is conflicting with the one that you just created. But I don't know how to edit this thing any other way. Info playlist file. Derive, oh, derive, oh, okay, hold on. Why do we have a derived info playlist? Where's that coming from? That is indeed coming from like Tuist. I guess it's saying if we don't provide an info playlist, then it generates its own, and that's why it's mad. So let's go add our own. Put that there, and then I think what we need to do is we need to go into here, and we need to move our info playlist out of resources. Because I think resources are things that get copied into the app. Let's do that. Resources, info playlist now goes here. And then we can rerun to us generate. And we'll see if that builds. There we go. All right, let's see what we get there. Simulator device error. That's what we get there. Still get a simulator device error. Maybe let's actually try reading it. The application's info plist does not contain a valid CF bundle version. When generate info plist file is enabled, sets the value of the CF bundle version key. Okay, so is this not generated? Generate info plist file is not selected. So let's select that and then let's try building it. Okay, there we go. Nope, still didn't like it. Does not contain a valid CF bundle short version string. I feel like we have somewhere in here, like a thing that that refers to. Is it in here? Nope, apparently we just hard cut it. That's fine, whatever, we'll do it. Now can we run? Now we can run. We can crash immediately, but that's fine. Swift UI scene with volumetric window style requires a UI scene session role of UI. Isn't this what we literally just did? For key UI application preferred default scene session role. I think I've done this wrong. Uh, info plist, where are you? Okay, right here.
Did it need to be added to the target? It is added to the target. Um, problem is, okay, so this is a key. But this is a key where? Yeah, I added it to the target through Tuist. It's in here. Ta-da. This is a key, but what is this a key to? UI application preferred default scene session role. I guess this is just part of the scene manifest itself. Is that what it's mad about? Let's check it. Um, string. And then what string do you want here? I did solve the Tuist Vision OS support. Uh, I did it through the magic of waiting for them to merge it and push out a new release. It was great. They did release a new build, yeah. So I updated at the very beginning of the stream. And it seems to have worked. Okay. Well, we did something. Okay, what do we got going on here? Let's just continue looking. Info P list configuration, no name. 90% sure we gave it a name. We did totally, we totally gave it a name. Setting an initial immersion style for this role is not supported. Okay, so let's just get rid of that. We're gonna get somewhere with this. So, whoa, God, okay. This is much more dramatic. But what I want to know is, like, if we resize the windows. Okay, I mean, I think that we have this working now. But what I don't understand is, like... Okay, yeah. This is much weirder now. I don't know what I've done. Oh, it didn't like that. It just crashed it. Okay, I don't think that this is really a fix for our problems. Because <laughs> this UI, this, this does not work the way that I think it should. And then also it crashes. Sometimes, sometimes it crashes. Even better that it's only sometimes. So, I mean, we are able to draw on this and we do have some amount of button working. And it does go here on the thing. I don't know, now I'm second guessing. Maybe this actually does work the way that I want it to work. I just want it to be a little bit bigger. But fortunately, like, With volumetric, we can actually have it be bigger. I think, yeah, we also want to set that depth there is like, you can see that as we move this around, this is very much way in front of there. So I think we want to actually move it closer. So let's let's see what we can do with that. Uh, default window size. Uh, we have a width and a height and we have a depth and we can specify the unit length. So let's say it's half a meter. Version needs an easel to place it in the scene. Ooh, that would actually be pretty cool. I don't, I don't know. Oh yes, let's put it in astronomical units. I kind of want to see what that does. I feel like it's just like, no, you don't get to put something in astronomical units. Uh, yeah, I want it to be meters. Ooh, light years. You can even get bigger than astronomical units. You can put this in light years. It's on the moon now? No, half an astronomical unit is way further away than the moon. An astronomical unit is the distance between Earth and the Sun. How far away 
is the moon in AU. Oh, okay, so it's 238,900 miles. Miles to AU. Yeah, 0 0.002 astronaut. Okay, this is too loud. I'm gonna turn this down. Actually, you know what? I, I think this is the exact same one that I complained about last time, so we're just gonna dislike this track because it is too loud. Yeah, no, it, it's it's like how far away is Mercury, for example? Distance to Mercury in AU. Is this saying that it's seven point three trillion inches away? <laughs> Okay, so Mercury is 0 0.4 AU away. So it's 0 0.6 AU from us. So it's somewhere in between the distance of Mercury and Venus. It's 0 0.001 Voyagers away. Yes, Mercury is 7.3 trillion inches away. Just, just in case you were wondering. I, it's probably because I put in AU there, and so it's like, oh, distance to Mercury, IN, inches. But if I said difference, to, eh, no, that just gives me miles. Oh, well. We're not going to worry about this. Uh, default window size in meters. Let's try that. That doesn't look like it changed anything. Anything at all. Which is weird because... Like, it definitely did something when we made it an astronomical unit away. If I say it's 10 meters, what will you give me? Yeah, that doesn't seem to be doing anything. Make it IMAX sized? That would be pretty cool. But it doesn't seem to be changing at all. So maybe I need to put the default size first and then the window style. How big is an IMAX screen? Yeah, this, this doesn't seem to be doing anything though. So I'm not entirely sure what to do about that. Uh, approximately 72 feet by 50 feet. Well, yeah, but, like, one meter shouldn't be bigger than the room. Seventy-two feet by fifty feet. Let's say in feet. I mean, maybe it doesn't like having a zero depth. Maybe that's the problem. Let's say it's ten feet away. Oh, hey, there we go. Okay. Oh, you know what? It's probably... No, that's probably not how far away it is. That's probably... Uh, how deep the box is, basically. There's your... Uh, IMAX-sized window, though. Now, I kinda, now that we got this working, I kind of actually do want to try it in AU. We're just going to go 0 0.5 AU again. You know what? Let's, let's take this down to 0 0.1 AU deep. Yeah, I mean, what what is um, like a meter in astronomical units? This is 0 0.000001. Yeah, I know. It's, it's not going to let me do this. Do they have a moon environment? <laughs> I think they actually do have a moon environment. Sorry, I thought you were asking about the Astrodome. And I was like, no.
I don't seem to be able to pick this menu. I, I can't touch anything on this menu. We're gonna reboot the simulator. Oh, no, maybe not. Yeah, we're gonna reboot the simulator. Uh, by environment, I don't mean like the areas that you can check your stuff in, but I think that like one of the immersive environments that you twist the knob, I think it actually, there might be one that's the moon. Yeah, there we go. Environments, the moon. Yeah, here you go. I haven't figured out how to actually, you know, visit any of these environments. But yeah, the moon is totally one of the things that you can do. I would have thought that here... So this is environment there. Now you can do AU, yeah. Yeah, I don't know how to actually use any of these environments on... Environments Vision Pro Simulator. Yeah, it doesn't really look like this talks about how to use that. I did see something in the um, release notes that was like, oh, you can use like the UI test stuff maybe. Yeah, they don't seem to have anything. I don't know if you can get into it or not. But anyway, uh, if, here, let's go look at the, um, Vision OS release notes. Yeah, here we go. Maybe in the Xcode release notes. There is no UI for simulating Apple Vision Pro's immersion crown workaround. Use XC Test's UI device rotate digital crown delta method. Can we create a UI test? this let's uh new vision os test it gives us a unit testing bundle but there's no ui test bundle for vision os i have no idea how you're supposed to make this work
if they let you change it with a biome modifier that I approve, you can't specify, um, like you can't provide your own environments, I don't think. Okay, I'm gonna try to, uh, yeah, okay. And I don't think I can import XE test from anything else, right? Import XE test, yeah. This isn't gonna work. No such module, XE test. And it doesn't seem like I can create a UI testing bundle for Vision OS. So I don't really know what to do. I don't think I can do this. Sorry. All right, let's get back to this. Um, we're gonna say our default size. Okay, so if we give ourselves a default size, a height, and a depth. Let's say that it's 0.1 meters and then by 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. So let's see what that gives us. That did move the thing closer to where, oh, look at that. When I turned far enough, it gave me the thing on the side. Can you see that? It moved the box over here. See, so it doesn't seem possible to move, to resize the volumetric windows. Or is it? Is this like a, do I have to pinch to zoom? Nope, that didn't do anything. But I think this is closer to what I want. This actually might work. Okay, so if we've got our box like this, uh, where's the little, um, there's a thing that we can do in here. We can say bounds, maybe. That'll give us where our box is. Okay. That doesn't look, um, square. Is it axes? No, that's not going to do anything. Bounds, origin. That didn't do anything. Collision shapes. No. Oh, what am I missing? Oh, that's kind of cool. Not at all what I want, but it's kind of cool. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. I don't know what we have here yet. I think we're going to have to keep playing with it. But yeah, let's uh, see if we can now pin stuff where we want it to be. Let's 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 stick with this and see what that actually gives us. So we have a toolbar that's on the bottom ornament. Let's give ourselves now a side ornament. Ornament uh, attachment anchor lead scene scene leading text hello world with a glass background effect. That does not seem to have given us an ornament. Does anybody see a hello world? Not seeing it. Well, if this doesn't actually let us do the thing that I wanted to do, then uh, we might have more of a problem. I was looking for this with just view. Oh yeah, view, there we go. Use this method to show an ornament at the specified position. The example below displays an ornament below the window. 
Yada, yada, yada. So. <laughs> yay for Vision OS. Hey, it's kind of, Oh, hey, look at this. Ornaments are not currently supported in volumetric contexts. Well, that solves that. Hey, at least this one was clear about what was going on. Okay, so what can we do instead? Can we... Let's do this. I have an idea. Do, 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 do. So we put our canvas in here. Let's get rid of all of this. If we've got our canvas, can we put this in an H stack? So there's our canvas. And then let's give ourselves like a uh, color.clear.frame width is, I don't know, 100, sure. No, width is like 60. Height. 200 I don't know I don't know what I'm really doing right here clear frame uh, glass background effect and I just want to put these side by side and see what that does okay that actually gets us pretty close how do I not be in the home app every time I want to do this yeah that's actually kind of doing what I want okay so now what I need to do is I need I need these views to be a similar height. Yeah, this is actually getting pretty close to what I want, actually. Even if I can't quite use the tools that they give me to do it, I think this is working. I know, I know, shut up, shut up. Well, that didn't work anyway. See, I, that I knew geometry reader sucked. Okay, so we can't give it a height. Can we give it like a max height? Can we do frame, hold on, frame. I like that the depth is also a thing that I can put in here. Min width, I deal with max height, blah, blah, blah. All these things, let's do that. So ideal width is 60. Max height, hello, can I have? I deal with max height. Well, that didn't work. Because what I want to do is I want the window here. We're gonna we're gonna try something entirely different. Get rid of that. Get rid of this. Here it is. Geometry Reader. Ooh, Geometry Reader 3D. Good to know. I don't think that's what I want right now, but... That's not going to do anything. <laughs> Forgot to add the glass background effect.
Okay, those of you less American than I, is that a meter? That seems like not a meter. Oh, that might be half a meter, though. <laughs> Duh. Hey, there we go. Okay. So there's our window. So then I think what I need to do is this. I need to go with... Yeah, let's put the H tag inside the geometry reader. And then we can make our width 60 and our height. Oops. Too many deletes. Proxy.size.height. And then here, our canvas can be. Yeah, this would just be. See, now this is the problem. Okay. Here's what we've done wrong. We need to make this wider. So. There we go. Why it's not centered, I don't know. But it is getting there. This this is what I want. I like this. I actually like where this is going. So now we just need to center our H stack. Now is the problem is that the H stack itself isn't centered. didn't work. I mean, H stack should be centered by default, right? And also, that's the vertical alignment, so that doesn't really matter. Probably. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Why is this not centered? And this may just be just a dumb Swift UI question. This is, again, me not knowing how Geometry Reader works is really the question here. I would have thought that the alignment thing the frame that I was trying to do. Would have worked. Position. Eh. Eh. Why is the window not centered, you mean? Y yes. I do like that last one though. Uh, frame, put a frame on the stack itself. Hey, there we go. That's actually what I wanted to do. There we go. So there's our, the beginning of our like film strip UI. I think we need to make it bigger, wider. It's okay, that's that's something that we can play with. Like let's make it 120, let's just double it. Yeah, that looks better. So if we've got that and then we can fill this with like our scrolling list 
I think that's a good start. And then we'll need... I think we just put the rest of our items in this toolbar. Like, can we put, say, like a spacer in the toolbar? So, like, if we go back and we look at uh, applications, we look at freeform. I don't know what state that I've gotten this in that I can't kill the apps again. But if we looked at freeform, pretend that freeform is still there. Uh, it had a separator in the toolbar. So let's actually um, put like another toolbar item in here. Placement, bottom ornament. Uh, let's give it another button. And we're just gonna say that this is like our play button. It's not gonna actually do anything, but uh, recessive symbols. Play, play, play. Why didn't that add anything? Oh, because it said bottom bar and not bottom ornament. Derp. Hey, there we go. Okay, so... Freeform had like a separator in here. Is it not called separator? It's called divider, right? Yeah. Will that actually work? Build fail. Fail to produce a diagnostic. Tool. What if I make it a toolbar item? Here we go. This is probably the real thing that I need to do. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, look at that. It's very subtle, but that's okay. I'm okay with very subtle. So then, yeah, so if we have our play and we have our tools. What else do we need in there? Where's where's the actual app? Let's just build and run that for iPad. Cause we still need to be able to edit the layers, which I have a I have an idea for that. I have a very cool idea for that. Um we need to be able to share. That's that's very important. We need to be able to get back to the gallery. That one's going to be a little bit more tricky. Um, I feel like there's something in the lower right that I'm forgetting. Because in the lower left is play pause. In the top left is go back to the gallery. In the top right is both layers and share. Is there anything in the lower right? There might not be. I also want to figure out why this looks like crap sometimes. But yeah, there's nothing in the lower right. That's fine. Okay. So, the gallery, that one I'm a little bit, eh, I'm not sure what we're going to do there. But yeah, we can do layers and we can do share in the toolbar. Let's do that. Also, can we just do toolbar item group? Yeah. Let's do that. That'll be a lot easier than this. Wait, uh, yeah, this puts the views in here. So let's put a button. Let's put three buttons. And then, I don't know what our other buttons are. Content view, do, 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 do. Square grid two, no, that's the, well, I mean, that is the gallery. So we need that. Let's pull these up side by side. Uh, square grid two by two. And. Square two stack bottom fill. Yeah, let's do that. And then we also need the share one square and arrow up. And I think we'll probably play with the 
way that these are organized. Oops. I rebuilt, rebuilt the iPad version. Yeah, I actually like that. I like that a lot. What we're getting here. Because, yeah, now we have this little toolbar. We can play. All of, all of these buttons just trigger the toolbar, right? Or the uh, tool picker right now. We have our play pause. We have our tool picker. We have return to the gallery. That one seems a little out of place here because this is not quite doing what we want. But, oh, I have an idea. Maybe what if we put it... I have a theory for that, but we'll maybe work on that later. Let's actually just drop the gallery for now. We'll say we're going to come back and put that one away later. But yeah, here's our view. We'll have the little uh, things here. Where's simulator? Just give me the other simulator window. Yeah, we'll have our little doodads there. And then, yeah, all of our buttons will be in the toolbar, except for gallery. I kind of want to say, like, maybe we can put gallery in uh, like we can make it a separate button above the film strip. Like, we can actually have it in kind of a similar place to where it is here. We would just put it up above here, and then you have your little box there. That might actually work. And then... Yeah, let's do that. Let's see what that looks like. Hey, thanks for the follow, Golf Sata 2. Golf Sata 2 Yeah, let's do that. I think that'll look pretty cool. And then that will be basically everything that we need. So yeah, let's let's try that. Um, buttons. Uh, let's go back to just having the content view and not having any of this stuff. Uh, do -do. Let's give ourselves. Hey, thanks for the follow, Portugal Nine. Get all the follows right now. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, let's find this button. Okay, so we've got this here. Let's let's extract this out to like film strip struct. Problem is we need this to be uh yeah, we need this almost here, right? Oops, here. Yeah, okay, that still works. So then I think what we need, well, no, okay, here's the thing. What we need here is a V stack. And that V stack is gonna have that fixed frame. So we're so we're good so far, but then let's put a button over the top of this. And then this is where we need that grid two by two. Square dot grid dot two X two. Square grid two X two. X. Oh my God. Why can't I type the letter X? What does that look like? That looks like nothing. Literally nothing up here. Oh, there, it's very tiny. Okay. Um, aspect ratio, one content mode, fill. That was not fill, that was fit. 
I really don't know why this thing keeps popping up. Phil. It's still not right. Okay, so we need this to, here. We're just going to hard code it because, again, this is mostly just a, like, planning out what does our design even look like. We're just going to say width 120, height 120. Huh. Oops. Why is it still like that? That's very weird. Is it because our action doesn't exist? That shouldn't be a thing. Nope, Xcode crashed. And it wasn't even any of you. Nice kitchen. Hey, Nutterfy, how are you doing? Did you crash Xcode just by showing up? That's, that's a good one. Oh, you got a new machine? Did you finally get an M1? Or an Apple Silicon machine? Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Bye-bye, Intel. Nice. We're just going to fake this for a second. Color.clear.glass background effect dot frame. That's awesome. I know you've been wanting that for a long time. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. He's a little dorky looking, but <laughs> that's not the real nutter pie. Am I just doing something super dumb? I don't know what's going on here. Nope, that's right. Where, where is my image? <laughs> Scroll, you got me. Foreground color. Oh, foreground color isn't a thing. Foreground color? Foreground style. Okay. Color dot white. Where is my image? Why is there nothing in here? I don't understand. Okay, so that, I mean, it's definitely working. Why can't I get an image there? How's Vision OS treating Kineo? Uh, initially very poorly, currently good. Like, I, th I think it's looking pretty nice here. Like, I'm just kind of proof of concepting out what the UI is going to look like. And I don't hate it. I do want to figure out why I can't display a stupid image in that top square. But other than that, like, I like this. I like how this looks. I don't like how I can't get a stupid thing working, though. 
let's uh let's 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 keep messing with this let's put the image here image system name you know what we're gonna go with bold maybe it's just square grid two by two doesn't exist except that we put it in the other thing later earlier so i don't know how that would be possible width 120 height 120 glass background effect let's try that okay we're getting closer we do have an image here it's very tiny uh do i need to make it resizable that's probably what i need to do okay we're getting closer dot um aspect ratio i can't just do that content mode fit i don't know why some of these songs are dramatically louder than the others okay padding how do i yeah how do i make this not quite this big There we go. We're getting we're getting somewhere. Padding ten. I thought I was about to spit verse for a minute. Not on this channel. That's that's more of a Nutterfy channel thing. Hey everybody. Uh, you know I have not been giving shoutouts to people who are in chat. Boom boom. Go check out Compile Swift and Nutterfy streams. I have not been able to make it to Netherfy stream in a while, and I'm really sorry for that. I need to come check it out. And every time I do check it out, it's like by the time that you've already gotten around to uh, Diablo. It's like, oh, okay. I don't have anything to contribute to Diablo. Okay, here we go. We're getting close. Square dot grid dot 2x2. Okay, still needs to get a little bit smaller. Can I, hold on, can I? Playing with AV capture? Yeah, I saw some of the stuff that you were posting in Discord. It looks pretty good. I like it. Can I just do this? Width 40, height 40. I don't think this is what I want. Oh, that's exactly what I want. I don't think that's what I want immediately into that's exactly what I want. Okay, now the problem is that's not a button. It doesn't act like a button. So can we make it act like a button? getting closer do I just need to do this 120 120 which is basically what I was doing elsewhere hold on max headroom I knew that Nutterfy was the guy that played the max headroom prank on whatever that was the, the max headroom hack. You already know what I'm talking about. Max headroom signal hijacking. November 22nd, 1987. There we go. Okay. We got a button. We're, we're almost... We're almost a real app. Okay, so now the other question is like, why doesn't this hover? Is that just because it doesn't do anything? Print. Hello, gallery. Let's 
Because, like, these buttons have a hover effect. Oh, that one kind of does. It was just very subtle. Didn't do anything. Yeah, that button doesn't do anything. You can see that as I hover over it, it does highlight. Oh, you know why it's not working? Because I forgot to switch to the interaction mode. Hey, there it goes. So yeah, can I make that have a glass background effect instead of... Or actually, can I just do this? Got a glass background effect. <laughs> can, I, can I do literally exactly this? Yes, yes I can. It doesn't highlight anymore though. Yeah, it needs the hover effect. Can I not have the hover effect and the glass background effect? Because I need that to work. Can I make... Can I get rid of this? Get rid of this. Okay, so we've got that there. What if I put the glass background effect on here? Nope, that didn't do anything. Or did it? It kind of did. You just can't see it because of the button. Can I put the hover effect on this? See, I don't like that when I rotate, it then places it somewhere else for me the next time. Can I turn off the hover effect on this button? Hover effect. Highlight and lift. Ooh. Uh, automatic, but is enabled, is false. Okay, so. So this no longer has the hover effect, but it still has that background. So maybe I need to get rid of the button background. Oh wait, I know how to do that. Button style. Is that right? I think that's right now. Okay, but actually, what if I do like button style bordered prominent? Does that get rid of the need to do that? Okay, that didn't work. Button style dot. So I think we want this to be plain and then maybe we put the glass background effect on that. Okay, so we're getting somewhere and then we put the hover effect on that. It still doesn't hover. I really wish this environment picker didn't sit there every time. I mean, this is what I want. I just, uh, I 
feel like just quite not getting it. So there is a hover effect there. It's very subtle, but it is there. Yes, yes, I know that I wrote the same thing that's underneath it and commented out. If I zoom in again, okay, so that does disable it. An effect that slides the pointer under the view and disappears as the view scales up and gains a shadow. I mean, that sounds like what I want. Highlight an effect that morphs the pointer into a platter behind the view and shows a light source indicating position. I feel like that's not what we want. I feel like this is what we want. But maybe this needs to go here. This is not doing anything. I need you to show up. That's all I want is for you to have an effect. But it's almost like I can't have both a glass background effect and a hover effect. Which seems weird. This is still not doing anything. Okay, what if I... I'm trying to almost mimic what the toolbar is doing, where it's it's got the glass background effect on everything, and then there's like a hover effect on the individual pieces. Like, I would be okay with that. So can I... Hold on. What if I get rid of this? What if I get rid of... No, I want to keep the button style plane there. I want to get the hover effect on this. Okay, so we do get that effect. And then I want the background to be color.red for a second. Just don't worry about it. I'm not going completely crazy. Yes, okay. What if I put color dot clear dot glass background effect here where'd my image go where's my image is really messing with my head Because it was there when I said red, right? Yeah, it's still there. What if I say color.red. Grayscale, yeah, no. Color.red. Glass background effect. Then it disappears again. What on earth? What's this display mode? Never. Why does glass background effect delete it? Woat. Yeah, it seems like if I apply that glass background style 
everything gets broken. But if I leave, if I don't have that, it works fine. That is super weird. And I don't know what I just did. Command shift H apparently opens the human interface guidelines. That's good to know. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Not apply it and wait for the next bet beta. Yeah. But I want to take a screenshot that looks pretty and put it on threads. We'll mess with it later. For now, let's just leave it like this. Or actually, you know what? For now, let's actually apply the glass background effect here. And then we can take the pretty screenshot and nobody will know that it doesn't do anything when you hover over it. Nobody has to know these facts, right? Right? We're all keeping secrets here. Fake it like everything else on threads. Okay, so I think we're, we've got that. So now all I really want to do to finish up my UI is uh, the items in here, like the, the little, you know, the things. The things that go in the box. I mean, probably it's because we have a V-Stack with nothing in it, but I want that V-Stack to have a infinite height. I mean, I could put a spacer in here. our background stop doing that um can i just apply the glass background effect to the v stack now No. Why is this so hard? No, that's not how that works. Um, scroll view. Press background effect. Color dot red. I don't know. What are we doing? Perfect. All right. This is already way better than what I had before. <clears throat> uh, V-Stack. Let's not put anything in the V-Stack. Let's just, okay, that gets rid of everything. Color dot white dot uh, aspect ratio one fit. Okay, we're good. We're, we're getting somewhere. 
uh, dot frame width 44, height 44. Although we ended up making this 120, didn't we? Let's go with uh, 90 by 90. Close. Also, hold on. Why was that so weird looking? Why is it like rounded now? You see that? The whole view has a weird corner radius going on. Scroll view. Here, I know why this is. Dot frame width 120. Again, we're just going to keep hacking stuff. There we go. That's what I want. All right. So then this is, can I actually make this a container relative shape? Uh, color dot white dot clip shape container relative shape. No. Okay, we're getting somewhere. I do wish that that corner radius wasn't quite so dumb, but it's fine. Um, can we put like content insets on a scroll view? No. This is basically where I'm trying to get at. Okay, apparently I don't need a uh, clip shape. Apparently the glass background effect is its own rounding. Fair enough. Um, I don't want it to be circles though. That looks gross. Can I change anything about the glass background effect? Uh, only it's display mode. Filling the view con views container relative rounded corner shape. So maybe if I make the frame more, oops, it'll round it less. Yeah. Yeah, eh? Why is it so weird? Why is it always so weird? Okay, so it's weird because of the like padding at the top. It's not normally that weird. But this also doesn't seem to have like any depth to it, which is kind of what I want. I want there to be depth to these effects here. I want I want these to lift a little bit from the thing. I think that's what they showed off from like the music app. Oh yeah, that's right. I can't do this without rebooting the whole thing. But that is kind of what I want. I want I want these to have a little bit of depth to them. You know what? I'm not gonna worry about it right now. I 
That's closer. 20. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I still feel like this is not... This looks kind of ugly. And I don't know how to make it less ugly. There's little things in the corner. Anybody have any thoughts? Design ideas? all the white that bothers you. Unfortunately, we don't we can't really get rid of that. I mean, if we look at But yeah, I get what you're saying. If we look at the actual app. I mean, it's supposed to show what you've got. Oh, look, this actually does have some somewhat of the same shadow issue. But yeah, this is a lot closer to the UI than the other one is. If if this were this close over here, it would probably actually look pretty ugly. That might be part of it, is it just how close it is. We need to maybe... do something to change that effect a little bit. If you could set the opacity of the white canvas background just when editing. So you can. I just haven't implemented that feature yet. Can I do this? Hold on. Corner radius... Eight. Okay, hold on. No, that didn't do it. I mean, this looks, this looks less ugly than the other one did. If I put those boxes everywhere. I don't know that that's really doing anything the clip shape couldn't do. I hate this thing. I also kind of want to say, like, now that we have that, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where's this? So, in dot rect corner radius. So, if this one's corner radius is 20, I just pulled that number out of nowhere. The box is 110, so that means it's five pixels away, so the other one's corner radius should be 25 to fit, right? That was the wrong thing, but okay, yes. Uh, this one needs the same deal. Nope, that's the wrong thing. That's definitely the wrong thing. Hold on. Do, do, do. So this is the button. Where's the film strip? Okay, the film strip is what needs this. Here we go. Boom. There we go. Okay, I'm liking that a lot better. Okay, so now can we add that padding back? Can we add maybe a little bit less of the padding back? <laughs> 
Yeah, okay. Look at that. Look at that. I like this. Okay. How can we make that button up top not have the shadow on everything else? Uh, we need to give it a little bit more spacing, maybe. I remember they said something in the design talk about you need like a minimal amount of spacing between elements. I mean, I would have hoped that the uh, V-Stack thing would have done that for us, but maybe not. That still doesn't seem to be doing that. So maybe that's not this button that's causing that. That really is just the scroll view. Oops. Let's make it something ridiculous and see if it's still there. Yeah, okay, so that's definitely the scroll view that's doing that. So let's get that spacing back. And I, yeah, I guess that's what it has to be. I, it's gotta be that the fact that that other thing isn't there. So yeah, I'm actually gonna do, 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 zoom out. We're gonna set this back here. I'm gonna move our body around the house a little bit. This is very hard to draw on this simulator. I mean, I know my drawing sucks normally, but this is very, very hard. Okay. I like how this looks. I, I think this actually does look pretty good. It's at least a start. I, I, I like it. I like it a lot. All right, I think that's gonna be it for me tonight. But I do yeah, ship it dot ping. Yeah, where's uh Mono's ship it? Am I not a? Oh, I'm my I might let my sub to Mono uh lapse. I feel bad now. I don't have his little ship it scroll. Ship it next year exactly. Hey, it's going to take a long time to get this to uh, be in a final shippable state. But I like where things are going with the uh, UI. I, th I think this is actually not too bad. I, I like how this looks. Anyway, uh, I think that's going to be it for me tonight. I will probably not be here Monday. Uh, I might. Might. Let's, let's go with might be here Wednesday next week. And so, yeah, next week would be Wednesday, Friday instead of my usual Monday, Friday. Um, but yeah, that'll be it. Uh, check out everybody else. Uh, Nutter streams tomorrow night, right? Nutter here. Uh, and then usually compile some streams the night after that. Check them out. Okay, yeah. I will try to make it tomorrow, Nutter. I really will. I, I really will try to actually make it to your stream th this time. And uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. Have a good weekend. Goodbye.